What is up, guys? Happy Sunday. I'm back with another video for y'all. Child, I was supposed to put this out yesterday, but my day was just so busy and my night was a whole wreck. Let's just say I gotta go get my car fixed again. Y'all, it's a never ending story with my life. But anyway, that's another video. Now, we are gonna talk about Empire. I know y'all want me to make a video on this discussion, and I've been meant to do it this past week. Um, I meant to do it last week, but I, I chose this week because really, we didn't talk about this week. So, Empire, it, it ain't looking good, y'all. It ain't looking good. They had a new series low with 2.9 million viewers on Tuesday, and I'm just like, this is just, this is just sad at this point. I mean, really, we all thought season five was going to be the last season, and then I got season six, we were all surprised about. And, you know, I don't fault the actors on it. It's just the overall network. Just sometimes you just got to end stuff when it has to end. And it's one of those situations where the show gets another season when it really didn't need another season. And now we're seeing it flopping. And there's a lot of, a, a lot of factors that are counting into this whole thing. First off, the fact is, People are kind of tired with the writing. They're kind of tired with the writing, with repeating storylines. No character growth or development whatsoever, okay? Lucius and Cookie, they're going back and forth with each other, as always. Hakeem doesn't want to grow up, you know. Andre, he can't catch a damn break. Becky out here, you know, being underappreciated. Tiana has no storyline. I mean, the list goes on. Then you have the whole situation with Jesse and all that stuff. People still mad about that. Then you had the added on stuff with the Star fans who were pissed off that Fox canceled it to give Empire one more season. It is isn't a conspiracy theory because the president of Fox said this up front, which is a horrible PR move to do. And the granddaddy of it all, moving it from Wednesdays to Tuesdays. Now, Tuesday is already a packed day enough of TV for me as it is, okay? And Ashley Metter actually pointed this out in her What It Is video. You're putting it up against a lot of, you know... We're going to say this right here. A lot of Caucasian shows. Let's just, just put that out there. Because Tuesday nights are for This Is Us. Okay? This Is Us. It's in its fourth season. We already know it's going to end at season six. Okay? And they did good. Because they put a bunch of casting news of actors that I love. Okay? Omar Epps and Asante Black and Old Girl from When They See Us. Okay? Also, she on How to Get Away with Murder too. But anyway... This Is Us is already at 9 o'clock at NBC, and then New Amsterdam right after that, so my night's already booked. Then you have ABC with the ish hour, with Blackish at 9.30, and then Message at 9. You know, that's already booked in with ABC. Then we've got the CBS comedies. Then we got Doggone Own. I'm preparing for Greenleaf, so my hours are booked for three hours, okay? I dedicate my days to NBC, and then I get dedicate to Own until like 10, at 10 o'clock. So you have all this competition, you have controversy, you have anger fans, and overall writing. It's just going to make a bad season. And it, it's sad at this point because the way the show started out and then the ratings started to drop after season two, it's just, it's just bad. I mean, I know it's supposed to have 20 episodes, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they did what they did, the girlfriends, and cut them. I know they're probably filming like episode 8 and 9 right now with the scheduling. I wouldn't be surprised if the episodes got cut down to 15 or 16 because with these kind of numbers, that you can't be putting out this much stuff when you're putting in so much money into it. And I know there are a bunch of rumors saying, oh yeah, some of the star cats were in Atlanta filming or an Empire cast were filming in Atlanta. Y'all, don't be believing to the rumors, okay? Really, because as far as we know, the rest of the cast are doing their stuff. Everyone's up in Chicago right now filming, so that's dead on that. Um, yeah, it's just sad because I remember Empire being so good when it first came out. That brought black families back together, y'all. My best friend said this. This brought black families back together. I remember nights with my mom and my aunties. We'd be watching it. I remember we watching the first season finale. My aunties in Decatur, they were watching it too. We were doing a conference call watching it. My God. And now look where we at. Doggone four years later. We're, look what happened. But anyway, that's my little take on this whole thing. How do y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel about Empire. Do you still watch it? When did you stop watching? How you think this season or series is going to end? You know, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, it's your girl. Peace out. My love. Have a great week. Bye.